I am finally to my destination. About an hour and a half of hiking. You can see the Isleson Visitor Center up there, which is at mile 66 off the park road out of the 92 miles to Kentishna that the park road goes. Followed it down. You can kind of see some, you might be able to see a gravel path that leads down here. Kind of bushwhacked most of the way. It's not established. Denali National Park is has no, very little, I don't want to say no, it has very few established trails has no established trail system within the park and if you do find a trail it's most likely kind of a illegal social trail where people just keep on hiking and walking on it over and over again so but ideally they like people to walk side by side instead of single file to avoid making paths so it's pretty cool pretty cool but anyway that's that's the Isleson Visitors Visitor Center down below is a gigantic braided braided stream, two of them actually, one that's closest, uh, they run parallel to each other for the most part. Um, I traveled up the smallest one, which is over in that direction that you're looking right now. The other one is much larger, and it's to my right, I'll pan over there. Yeah, it's over here. It comes from that direction, that one is much larger. This one is about probably a quarter of a mile to a half mile wide. The other one, the smaller one, probably about 200 yards yards wide. Um, and just full of new and old braids and and all. And There is water going through. The water actually goes underneath the cobbles in some areas and just travels underground. It's just amazing. It's just really, really cool. Very cold, but it's actually it's actually very clear for for glacial water. Usually glacial water around this area at least has a lot of silt in it and it looks like chocolate milk. So here it's really cool. But anyway, this is where the two streams come together. Um, this is called the Thoroughfare. Um, two streams, yeah, two braided streams come together. It's called the Thoroughfare. All fed glacially. And actually the glaciers were th once upon a time we're in this area, and that's what caused this valley that we're in. I mean, you can see the glacial cuts right there, and kind of how it moved on through. And this is just massive. This is where the two areas meet, the thoroughfare is just massive. I'm going to give you guys a quick pan around just so you can see the massiveness. I think there's a caribou over there. I'm not sure. It hasn't moved. Maybe it's a person. But if it's a person, that person is really creepy. Really, really, really creepy because they're just staring and staying there. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, you can see how big this area is. It's just huge. And actually, I'll go out on it just to give you an idea. There's a little, little dip right here. And you can just see how massive, how massive this is. I mean, in comparison to where I am, just look off.
is all interwoven with great streams with gravel bars in between. water where the water moves. So it's just um it's just amazing. It's phenomenal. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful place. Glad I came down here. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple people walking walking down here, so I'm not the only one which makes me happy. It means if I get attacked by a bear there's there's help. But that's why I'm talking to myself. Because if you talk to yourself, they're aware that there's humans around. You don't startle them. Because the majority of bear attacks happen when... What do you think? When you come across a bear and you startle it. So, you talk to yourself. People may think you're crazy, but the ones who think you're crazy are the ones who are going to get eaten. So, that's why I talk. There is a reason for my insanity. That, and I'm trying to become a geologist, and you know all geologists are insane. So, it's kind of a proven fact. You have to admit it. It's true. It's kind of true. But anyway, this is what I'm looking at. This is amazing. Just amazing. Just amazing. Just amazing. And that's that.